We have certainly had a lot of updates for the Mini 3 Pro this week. Firstly, we had D-Drive Fly 1.9.8. Then we had a firmware update that brought tripod mode for this, gaining Expo tuning customization, which was fantastic. And now we've got D-Drive Fly 1.9.9 and another firmware update. So what does all this bring on? Well, today I'm gonna to be testing this out with some abandoned boats just behind me, seeing how 1.9.9 works on the Mini 3 Pro, and then also showing you how to fully use the gaining Expo tuning controls. So first of all, let's get the drone back to Towards those ships in the distance and I'll show you first the new tripod mode. Okay so first of all, I want to go into the settings if you've not changed this already once you've updated to the latest update so you'll have 1.9.9 on the screen and the aircraft firmware should be 01000500 and then the RC firmware should be 0200600 so this is a mouthful but if you've got all that correct you should be able to go to your control settings go to gain and expo tuning and then you see where it says cine mode now and you've got max horizontal speed max ascent speed you'll be able to bring this right down now to one meters per second i do find it is crashing a little bit on the gain and expo tuning menu for me personally on the dji rc but have these now down at one meter per second one meter per second one meter per second once you've done that you can then push forward on the right stick and the maximum speed the drone's going to go is one meter per second and it makes this really slow looking footage coming towards you you can either have it going backwards or side to side and it looks great especially you now you've got the control it's not going to go nice and fast you can have it really low to the ground and get these shots like this without risking this drone crashing into the ground or just going simply too fast. And I think this shot now looks fantastic. Now, if I was to do this same shot going backwards, it also looks great as well. It's literally going 0.9 meters per second. And I could film myself on this drone now and make this whole video just like this. This is fantastic. But if you just see the difference now, put it into normal mode and now pull back, yeah, that's cool, but that's now going three meters per second. And on that Gain and Expo tuning screen, I can change this also to go slow or faster. It's just about experimenting, but I really do like the new cinematic mode. And this is also great. I can now turn as well and just look how slow that is turning. So it's not gonna be useful for making a whole video like this, because it's gonna be too boring, but certainly mix in some shots. So now I'm gonna be facing these boats now, just gonna be coming into the screen. I'm just going to go a bit closer to them and then fly in cine mode, which is now super slow, just around these boats and just show you just how cool this is. So I'm just at those boats now, I'm in normal mode. So it's still good to use normal in sports, obviously, but just experiment with this, you're going to absolutely love it. So I'm now going to switch back into cine mode and now I can go up to these boats and really get close to them without worrying or risking that I'm going to be going too fast. I've got to worry about braking distances. Um, it crashing into these boats and I can lower it down to the ground and I just have full control I can still see that drone but it just looks fantastic and I, I really am happy that this new gain and expo tuning is finally here for the mini drones so I'm just going to keep on going now and then we're just going to go and fly through this little gap here so I've got my rule of thirds on I've also got this crosshair in the middle and this is perfect for framing now, if I did this shot in normal or sports mode, you wouldn't hardly see any of this boat, but now I can get it lined up. So let's go straight through here and just look how cool that is. And you can replicate this easily by doing this yourself over this weekend. I can turn the drone, so I'm just pushing it to the left hand side, and now it slowly pans. It's super stable with the GPS. And look, should I risk going through there? Not today. <laughs> Well, that is great. So we're going to look at spotlight mode. I want to see if spotlight mode and the new cine mode works well together or not. So I'm going to switch it into cine. Now I'm going to hit record and I'm just going to go and fly sideways and then see if it still is going at one meter per second. I'm going to increase the altitude as well. And it is. So the gain and expo tuning is also working in spotlight mode. And you know, I do love spotlight mode. So that is great. So now it's just going to keep lock on these boats. I can just rotate the drone and it's keeping it perfectly centered so that is brilliant just a shame that the weather today is awful just like typical british weather and this is also good so you can now get a bit lower to the ground put it into cine mode and now i can just go sideways and it's just everything's super slow so just mix this into normal footage do fast shots and then also do some slow shots like this and this is now great for doing the orbit shots so a normal orbit you would just go around here and you've got to try and keep it locked on to the boat in the center this is why that center 
crosshair is also good but it makes it a lot easier by now going into cine mode and then doing that same shot and just look how easier that is by going really slow makes a big difference okay let's take a picture I'm just going to test this out now it's not going to look great because the weather conditions are awful but i just do want to do a quick test i always like to do this whenever a new update comes out just to make sure that everything is working great so i'm just going to get this framed up as best i can probably doing the worst job you can possibly get but now i'm going to switch to photos now make sure when you do have any updates that you check that your settings are correct so you can see under format it's changed from jpeg i always shoot in jpeg and raw so i can use then the raw files to edit them so you can be able to tweak them more you'll be able to put presets on and it's not going to ruin that photo so i'm just going to use auto for this i'll um i'll just increase it because it's quite dark today and then take a photo there and that's working so I always recommend choosing format jpeg and raw with regards to everything else let's just have a quick look at some of these features so we've tested the video out uh let's have a look at just a quick shot you see look res and fps that's changed 1080p 30 get rid of that straight away so i would switch now over to 4k 30 got some seagulls coming in to have a look this is the problem with these small drones so always be wary of that yeah we'll do droning to get out of this area i'll increase that distance we'll do 100 meters We'll hit start and it should just fly backwards and it's in normal mode now. So there's a tip for you here. Um, I will quickly show you as well. It's just the way it's doing this. So it's up to 70%, 80, 90, 96. Right, so quick shots is working fine. So what I'll do now is I'll just show you, and I do talk about this in my cheat sheets of how to avoid problems. So if you've not bought them, they're available. I'll link them down below. But let's just put it into sports mode just to decrease the altitude a bit. So let's just see where I was here. And this is where I was getting quite a bit of attention with those seagulls. The best thing to do is, as soon as you see the, the birds trying to attack your drone, put it into sports and push up on that left stick as fast as you can. And the seagulls or any birds won't be able to then keep up with this speed of this drone increasing, especially on like a Mavic. Um, but on the Mini, it's, it's obviously slower at increasing altitude, but it's still a lot quicker than they can. Then once it's up here, what I would do is I would just literally, in sports mode, I would push right or forwards and then try and get out of the area as quick as possible in kind of zigzag formation. But don't be hovering around. That's the worst thing you can do. Okay, let's go through some of these settings again now. So um, safety, obstacle avoidance, you want to make sure that that is set to bypass. So I'll put it back to normal. So bypass should be the preferred one, not uh, break or off really break it's, it's okay for safety but certainly for our active track it's just a pain so i won't use that keep disabled sideways flight off otherwise it's going to be pretty basic you're not going to be doing any sideways motion whatsoever keep your display radar map on your flight altitude max i would have that around about 120 meters if you're on the top of a mountain and you need to have it higher then fair enough but otherwise 120 distance i would say no limit on there and then just make sure you can you can see that drone your return to home altitude should also be just as high as your max altitude as well so you want to cover it so in this area here there isn't really anything um which is tall buildings or tall trees if i just keep in this area but it all depends where you are in the area and have a look at that before you go off and fly just scroll down to the bottom of safety advanced safety settings return to home should be selected all the time and let's go now to control so Everything here should be the same. We've talked about gaining expo controls. The gimbal mode should be on follow mode. The stick mode, I use mode two. And then camera, what I would do is H265, if, you, if your computer system can handle it, it's gonna be better quality. MP4, and then either normal or d like Now, I always use d like apart from these examples where I don't need to color grade it. Um, normal is, is fine, but decent like is going to give you a better quality image. Grid lines, I would have the rule of thirds on, which is that middle rule of thirds. And then I would have that one on the right hand side. And that's that crosshair I was talking about before. And then under style, I have my sharpness set to minus one and noise reduction at zero. Unless it's at nighttime or low light, then I will have it maybe on. But generally, um, you don't really need that. It's not great. It's nothing like the Mavic 3 night mode. Um, so don't get too excited 
and transmission everything else you can just keep the same so that wraps up the end of this video the battery warning lights just come on as well so if you've had any issues with updating or not been able to access these gaining expo controls you now 100 should be able to so go and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it make sure you subscribe got so many more content coming soon loads of drone videos hopefully this will be the end of the fly updates for the next few weeks and I can get back to concentrating on these exciting videos which are going to be coming on the channel really soon so thanks so much for watching drones are nearly back to me now this cine mode is fantastic so go and have a go at this over the weekend or today and let me know in the comments down below what you think of it and i'll see you guys on the next one bye bye